All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can build and deploy a micro SaaS application all using AI. So I've created multiple videos explaining how you can use AI to code stuff, right? But I have never really shown you how to deploy the same so that pretty much anyone on the internet can access the same. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. So more specifically, I'm going to create an AI powered audio transcription website using AI. The main highlight of the video is developing the application and more importantly, deploying the same for free and you will have your website live on the internet so that pretty much anyone can access the same and use your web app. If that sounds interesting, let's jump right in. All right, so for this one, we are going to use vCRO again. So if you are not already aware of vCRO, vCRO by Vercel is like a chatbot that will help you when it comes to coding side of things. So all you got to do is click on, I mean, visit vCRO.dev slash chat website and you'll have to sign up for a new account. In case if you don't already have an account, you can go ahead and create a Vercel account first and then you can go ahead and sign up on the platform and visit vCRO.dev slash chat and you can see this page right here. So to start, I'll go ahead and give it a simple prompt, something like this. Create an audio transcription web app in Next.js, app router and TypeScript. I want to let the users upload an audio file and the website should show the transcript after processing. Use the Gemini 1.5 Pro API for this one. So I'll go ahead and click on the send button and let's see. And it has started writing the code and let's just wait till it is completed. All right, so Visido has given us all the code and files that we need for this project. And the next thing that you gotta do is to spin up a new Next.js project. So in case if you don't know how to start or initialize a Next.js project, you can simply go ahead and search for Next.js docs and click on this installation link. And you can go ahead and follow the instructions to create a new Next.js project. So you can find all the terminal commands and prompts right here. And for this one, I'll just open Visual Studio Code just like this. And I've created a new folder called audio transcription and I'll just drag and drop it inside and I can open terminal like this and I can give it a simple command something like npx create next app at the rate latest and dot slash. So what it does you ask it will go ahead and install next.js into the specific folder that we give it. So we can go ahead and click on yes for typescript eslint yes tailwind yes src directory no app router yes and also no for importing alias now let's just wait for a few seconds okay the project is now set up you can go ahead and run npm run dev and hit enter to start the development server and i'll just click on this link and it should open up the next.js boilerplate page and there you have it so let's just go back to v0 and start creating all the files mentioned here so the first thing that i got to do is to copy this one from here and replace the entire content in page.tsx file control all right, so paste the entire content. Next, create a new file called audio upload form.tsx. I'll go ahead and copy this one. Create a new folder called components. And inside of it, I'll create audio upload form.tsx. And I'll paste the content in there. Next, we have to create a new file called transcription results dot uh, tsx transcription result dot tsx result okay I'll go ahead and paste that as well next we got to create an actions dot ts file in the root so copy this one go to the root click create actions dot ts paste it all right, so that's all that we got to do. And the next thing that you got to do is to create a .env.local file and add this particular line there. So I'll go ahead and copy this one. I can go ahead and create a new .env.local file and I'll paste it. And now you got to get your Gemini API key and replace it here. So open a new tab and search for get Gemini API key. Click on the first link and it will take you to this page right here and click on get a Gemini API key in Google AI Studio button. Wait for it to load. And now click on this get API key button and you can go ahead and create a new API key. So I've already created one, so I'll click on this one and copy it. Go back to the env file and I'll paste it right here. Okay, now API key is set up. So everything looks good. Let's just go ahead and refresh it. And let me just go ahead and drag and drop a sample mp3 file that I recorded and click on transcribe and it says error no file uploaded all right so just copy this one from here and go back to 
v0 and i'll give it a prompt something like when i select the audio file it shows error no file found and i'll hit enter all right so v0 has given us an updated code so let's just go ahead and copy the first file action.ts and replace the content next i'll replace the content inside audio upload form.tsx all right replaced next uh, the page.tsx file content copy and page.tsx and i'll replace the content in there as well and next you got to install the google generative ai npm package so i'll go ahead and copy this command open up a new terminal instance and paste it right here click enter and wait for a few seconds and it's done now next yeah gemini api key we have already added it in here so everything else look pretty good to me so go ahead and refresh the page and we have an error here all right so let's just go ahead and fix the import all right now it should work well, there we go let me refresh the page again and i'll go ahead and drag and drop the audio file again just like this and click on the transcribe button and let's see if it works now and boom there we have it this is a sample audio file that i'm recording so whatever content that was in the audio file so google gemini api has converted it out transcribed it and we are able to see the result right here and now to change the entire look and feel of the app i'll go ahead and further customize it i'll go ahead and say stylize i mean first i'll give it it works and then i'll say stylize the app in a modern way with nice uh ui and i'll hit enter and wait for a while all right so it started generating the code and you can also see a preview right here so first let's just start with the page.tsx file i'll go ahead and copy the file content replace the content in here next update the upload form.tsx file so let's just wait copy the content upload form.tsx file and i'll replace the content in there next we'll have to update okay we have to create a new file called uh components loading animation.tsx so i'll go ahead and copy this one so we'll go ahead and create a new one called loading animation.tsx and i'll go ahead and paste the content next i'll go to update the layout.tsx file so i'll go ahead and copy the content open layout.tsx paste and replace the files as well next what okay everything else is done okay let's just go ahead and copy this one and install the npm packages as well all right so this is how our app looks now and to be honest it looks way better than i thought it would so now let's just go ahead and add a file like this open it up click on the transcribe option and let's see if it works we have a nice loading indicator over here it says transcribing and let's just wait and there we have the output in here great so this is the exact content that's in the audio and it have go went ahead and transcribed the same all right so pretty much everything works the way i want it to and the next important step is to deploy the same so that we can make it live on the internet so let's see how all right now to deploy the app the first thing that you got to do is to open your github log into your github account and click on this option to create a new repository so i'll go ahead and give it a name something like audio and uh, description i'll keep it at private for now and next i'll click on create repository and it will now give us a bunch of code so i'll go ahead and copy this first line open terminal paste and hit enter and next i'll go ahead and copy the second one and i'll paste it hit enter and the third one as well all right and before that make sure you have git installed on your machine okay if not just go to git uh, search for it on google and install github first all right so everything looks good to me now if i refresh the page i should see all the files that are in here okay so basically i have uploaded all the files from locally from my machine to github and everything is right here okay so this is the first step you gotta push all the content to a github repository next up just go to versal.com and sign up for a new account so once you're logged into Wordcell, the first thing that you got to do is to connect your GitHub account to Wordcell. So you'll find an option that says connect GitHub. You can go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions and pretty much connect your GitHub account. Next, you got to click on this add new option, click on project 
and it will take you to this page and once you connect your github account you should be able to find all the uh, repositories within your github account here and you can go ahead and click on the import button to whatever repository that you want to deploy so I'll go ahead and click on import and for the project name i'll leave as it is and it will automatically detect the framework preset and one important thing that you got to configure is the environment variables right here so if you go to the env.local file so we have a gemini api key here so i'll go ahead and copy the key paste it here and i'll go ahead and copy the actual api key and paste it right here click on add all right so now that's added i'll go ahead and click on deploy and it says deploying so wait for a few seconds and there we have it the deployment is successful and you can also see a nice confetti effect here so you can also see a screenshot of how our website will look like so i'll go ahead and click on continue to dashboard and i can click on this right or this domain right here so this is the url of your deployment you can visit this one and you'll be able to see your website and now pretty much anyone can access your web app using this particular url right here so you can go ahead and share it with your friends or whoever you want to and they'll be able to use your website and now just as to make sure things work you can just click on this option select the audio file again and click on open and click on transcribe and wait for a few seconds and yes it indeed works so this is a sample audio that i'm recording and everything the transcription just works all right so that's how simple it is to create a fully functional micro SaaS application using ai and also deploy it and make it live on the internet so now that we have deployed the app pretty much anyone can access the website by giving that particular vercel host url and in case if you want to connect a custom domain you can go ahead and register a custom domain and connect it to vercel and you can host your own application in your own custom domain that's how simple it is and on top of all that the free versal hobby plan is more than enough for you to host your micro SaaS application and it should be pretty much good to go from there so that's pretty much all about this video and hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe to this channel and also make sure to share this video with your developer friends and i'll see you in the next one bye